And I'm sitting here with Summer and Autumn. They're two four-month-old kittens that are here at the Humane Society that are up for adoption. Adoption is $75, and she's ready to pounce out and to get someone to come and pick her up. Woman, a hard-working woman, a passionate woman, Mr. Hassani Pettiford gave us many things, but it's up to you to figure out what kind of good woman or good black woman you should be. Welcome to the March 16th edition of ASU TV News. I'm Jessica Guy. We've heard of Teacher of the Month, but for a Virginia boy, his teacher could be classified as Teacher of a Lifetime. Celebrities are joining the effort to raise money for Japan's disaster relief. Lady Gaga is joining the effort to raise money for the victims of Japan's earthquake and tsunami. She's calling on her friends to buy special bracelets available at her online store. Welcome back to ASU TV News. I'm Jessica Guy, and here is what's happening in the sports world. The NCAA champions, the NCAA championships, have been on everyone's minds lately, and especially with all the upsets and Cinderella stories. Let's start off with the women. A big game for Notre Dame in the UConn, which uh, with a lot of fighting between the girls. And here you see that the Fighting Irish take it from the UConn and get all the way down for a nice layup finish. Hi, I'm here at the NEA Humane Society, and this week our, our cat of the week, or our pet of the week, is Snowball. Snowball is a tomcat. She's about, he's about three years old, and he's, um, he's been here for about a year or so, and the Humane Society said that he's a very good kitty, and he's very playful. We didn't want to pull him out because he was enjoying his uh, kennel up here. So as you can see, he's very playful. He loves... He loves being rubbed. So come on out to the Humane Society and come and try to adopt Snowball. He's about $75. And I'm pretty sure $75 will go a long way with this cat. So come on out to NEA Humane Society and come adopt a cat. When black women read the book, they love me because they realize that finally somebody's addressing many of the issues that they've been dealing with for so many years. The book that author Hassani Pettiford is referring to is Why We Hate Black Women and Why We Should Love Them. Pettiford spoke to a crowd of about 100 students and some faculty on the black perspective of women. The book also touched on many key points such as relationships, sex, the different definitions of a good woman or a good man, and many others. In one clip shown to the audience, a woman was quoted to say, Sex sells. Crack sells too, but that doesn't make it good. A quote which touched many in the audience. The audience was very in tune to what Mr. Pettiford had to say. I spoke with Tremont Taylor on his reactions to what this powerful speaker had to say. I enjoyed the seminar, especially the topics on how the names that we call black women today went back all the way back to slavery. You know, with, uh, I'm not going to say the names, but you know, certain names that we call women and why we shouldn't call those women names and how they relate to one another. If we're calling ourselves, you know what I'm saying, different names and calling women different names, that was one of the, the highlights of the seminar to me. Pettiford was gracious for the turnout of students and faculty. When asked his personal opinion of the black perspective, he had this to say. We are addicted to our own degradation. And so when our people negatively portray us, we buy tickets, we eat popcorn, we sit in the front row, we have a good time and don't realize that we're being pigeonholed into a negative image that the world perceives black women as being. There are many definitions of what a good black woman should be. May it be a good strong working woman, a hard working woman, a passionate woman. Mr. Hassani Pettiford gave us many things, but it's up to you to figure out what kind of good woman or good black woman you should be. Jessica Guy, ASU TV News. The Day of Silence is a youth movement that brings attention to the silence faced by lesbian, gay, transgender, and bisexual people and their allies. When I was in K through 12 schools, I was not out. It's called the Day of Silence. Members of the Gay Straight Alliance spent the day in silence to acknowledge those victimized because of their sexual orientation. The day helped bring attention to the bullying that occurs in high school and college campuses. 
A survey done by the Gay, Lesbian, and Straight Education Network found that 64% of homosexual students had experienced harassment in school. And an ABC News reported that a Campus Pride study found that gay students are more likely to seriously consider leaving school due to discrimination over their sexual orientation. The group let their voices be heard during a candlelight vigil where they gave words of comfort and expressed their need to use their voices and not go silent about gay rights and bullying. They wanted to end the day in saying this. I believe that ending the silence is a step toward building awareness and making a commitment to address these injustices. Think about the voices that you're not hearing today. Jessica Guy, ASU TV News.